I, I think Boston's a significantly better team than Toronto. And I think the only reason why people are giving, you know, this as a toss up type series is because they won the championship last year. Like if they didn't win the championship last year, I don't think you, you have anyone picking the Raptors, honestly. Yeah, well, they, they it's, look, it's, they look good in the bubble. That's but- part of it, but it's also what they were doing, not only throughout the bubble, but before the bubble. They were the hottest team in the NBA. They've been the hottest team in the NBA since January. The only team they've lost to are the Celtics. The, the, all their losses in the bubble have come to the Celtics. Now, again, I, I'm, I would agree with that take if it wasn't for the fact that they were so hot before the bubble and then kept that throughout the bubble. Like, that's the reason what did, why. What did we say? I, though? I don't think it has anything to do with the champion. What did, yeah, I do. I do. But there's no say? Kawhi. There's no Kawhi. That's huge. If Kawhi Leonard's playing on his team, it's a entirely different story. Yeah, so was, then why would he, why would they get credit for that though? No, I mean, the thing is, they were starting to get noticed too because they felt like they were getting disrespected all season. And, when the Celtics beat Toronto in the uh, seeding games, what did we say? Like, all right, let's not get too high on this on this win. Great win. But we forgot about the Christmas Day game. How yeah. they have dominated mm-hmm. the Raptors. And yep. Now, here we are, Christmas Day game, the seeding game. And now these first two games, like, I think they figured out how to beat Toronto. 